Hey everyone, Josh Burns here from the Toyota product communications team. We're in Kohler, Wisconsin to check out the 2019 Prius. Now, Wisconsin is not typically where you think of a Prius, but there's a lot of new changes for 2019. We're here with Nick Miller from the marketing team to walk us through some of those changes. So Nick, what's new? Great, Josh, thanks for having us out here. Um, I think first and foremost, when you take a look at the vehicle, you'll notice one of the major changes is some of the design cues on the outside. And what you don't see here are some of the changes that we've taken on the interior as well. Along with those design changes, we've implemented a new grade strategy. Um, and we're really proud of something else that's new to the vehicle, and that's an all-wheel drive system available on some of our grades. So how has the grade strategy changed for 2019? So we've moved from a, our traditional numerical system over to something that's more standard within the Toyota lineup, offering an L Eco, an LE, an XLE, and a Limited. We've also taken our build configurations from 22 down to 11 by simplifying the packages on the vehicle as well. Okay, so then across the board, there's exterior and interior changes. So can you run through some of those? So if you take a look at the vehicle, first and foremost, you see that um, one of the major changes was in the headlight design. You can also see in the bumper as well, there's been some changes there. And we've added LED accent lights and fog lights for our all-wheel drives as well. And moving around to the rear of the vehicle, you'll notice one of the things that they've changed was the taillight design. Um, they've taken that to a more horizontal approach and they've changed some of the character lines on the vehicle as well, which gives it a much wider look to the vehicle. And you'll also see um, those grade badges we were talking about as well on the XLE Unlimited. And then of course on our all-wheel drive, there's an AWDE badge on the back as well. So what exactly has changed on the inside of the vehicle? So on the inside of the vehicle, one of the first things that you'll notice is that those white accents that were around the steering wheel, the shifter, and the center console have changed over to a piano black, giving it a more sophisticated look. Um, they've taken the Qi wireless charger and increased the size of that as well to allow for larger phones that we have nowadays. Phones. And then speaking of phones, for those passengers in the back of the vehicle, they've added two 2.1-amp uh, USB ports to allow people to charge their devices in the back of the vehicle as well. And we're in colder temperatures, so heated steering wheel available on certain grades, that's a big plus. Yeah, exactly, and, and you probably would be hoping that you're sitting in there touching it right now, but yes, on the XLE and on the Limited, uh, they come standard with a heated steering wheel. Awesome. We just recently announced the Corolla Hybrid, so we've had a lot of questions about the difference in buyer between the Corolla Hybrid and the Prius. Um, I know one of those things is cargo capacity, so can you break that down a little bit on, on Prius Liftback? Yes, one of the things that makes this vehicle really unique in our lineup is the amount of cargo the vehicle can carry. So with five passengers, meaning seats up, the vehicle can store up to 27.4 cubic feet of cargo, which is larger than the largest full-size sedan, uh, something we're really proud of. Um, on top of that, if you have other larger items that you'd like to carry, there's available cargo crossbars for the roof, so you could take your kayak, your bikes, whatever you might want to on top of the vehicle. Uh, the all-wheel drive system in this vehicle is, um, is going to be great in terms of differentiating this vehicle in our lineup and also offering it to more people across the country um, in areas like this in Kohler where it's cold and where it snows. Um, it is an on-demand electronic all-wheel drive system, which means that it runs traditionally the way it would and it has a small electric motor in the back of the vehicle that will uh, propel the vehicle from a stop from zero to six miles per hour and then it'll come on as needed from seven to 43 miles per hour. Okay, the system sounds great, but how much is gonna set me back to get into an all-wheel drive Prius? Um, that's a great question. So when you look at the, at the price of our vehicle, the front-wheel drive LE, as we'll use it as an example, starts at 24,980. For another $1,400, you're, you're inside of an all-wheel drive. Okay, so we can't talk about Prius without talking about efficiency. So where are we at on fuel economy? The fuel economy in our front-wheel drives stays the same. So the L Eco will get 58 miles per gallon in the city. And then the, the LE, XLE, and Limited will get 54 in the city. Okay. And our all-wheel drive will maintain 52 miles per gallon in all-wheel drive. Which is impressive. Yes. Awesome. Well, Nick, thank you for uh, running through all the changes on the new Prius. Sounds really exciting. So for more information, head over to toyota.com forward slash Prius.